Hey folks, and how's it going? This is, believe it or not, the very last obstacle. And it's called the Tricentis Tosca Olympics. I'll give you a little look. Basically, it's a game, so it's really easy to play the game. And uh, you have to automate it. So you click on Start, and you see this little uh, skiing dude here, and then trees whooshing past. Now, let's do that again. Click on Restart. I, I was clicking over here, okay, and restarting. And it took me a good while to figure out that you have to click restart and then use the cursor keys and use I still crash. Yeah, that's that happens to me in real life as well when I'm skiing. So we go right, go right, go left, go right, go left, go right, and so on and so forth. So um, needless to say, I crashed a lot. So it was more Special Olympics than actual Olympics when I was uh, figuring out how this little game worked. So, without much further ado, let's have a quick look and see how I scanned it. Okay. So basically there's an image skier, which I'm not entirely sure I needed. Um, then the background, which is the actual picture. And then I found out that this thing was called the instruction. Now you might want to know how to actually do that. Where's the developer tools? Hmm. The machine seems to pong just a little bit. Oh, that's weird. Okay, maybe it was doing something. So we can click on, I think, that tool. There it is there. And the class is instructions, okay? So, I like that. And there we go, we go back to the actual Tosca. So I took it, in, the class name was instruction. I thought that was a relevant one to take, okay. And then the button. Uh, and the button shows me the restart button, okay. And I needed to do it that way. I needed to take the instruction because sometimes the instruction disappears and it changes name. So if we, if we look in here, we'll see we have the usual pre, which is the uh, open the URL. And it opens the uh, the URL like that, based upon a test configuration parameter. And then we do a little zoom. We make sure the zoom is okay. And then we go into process, okay. And process basically clicks on the button to get it going. And then I use a while loop, okay. And the while loop, it first of all you have to check if the instruction is actually it exists because frequently it doesn't exist right so you need to basically pull your module in and then copy this instruction several times so you do your wait on exists is equal to true then you wait on the instruction to not say prepare for the start in other words we want some instructions and then you buffer when all of this is okay you then buffer your go direction and we'll come back to this step here near the end okay by the way, it does quite a few loops, so I set it to 500 maximum repetitions. In the loop itself, I put an if in here. By the way, this is all horrible, you know. This is the kind of automation I hate to see. I hate to see while loops and if loops inside the actual process, but it's the only way I could figure out how to do it. So the condition in here is um, condition. Instruction says go left. Go left, okay. So we've got our buffer there with the direction, and there's the string. We verify that. If that's the case, all right, you need to wait a little bit, so we kind of slow it down just a little bit. We'll then go in here and send left to the uh, page that has Olympics in it. Don't forget your quotes. Else, send right, okay. This works fine, but then it starts to hang at the end. And this is where we come back to the actual condition, okay? Uh, this one here. Wait on the instruction to be true and verify it doesn't say you did it because that's what happens right at the end. So verify that you don't see that. So these two conditions, they work together. Well, it's one condition, but it's like an and statement, this and this. So it exists and it doesn't say you did it because that's what we're looking for right at the end. I'm not sure if I need this. I might actually delete that. 
So, and then you verify the solution appears. So, let's have a little look. Run it again from the runner from the top, okay? Oh, by the way, when when I started doing this for the first time, it was jumping around quite a bit. So I, as usual, I put in the scrolling behavior equals none inside the uh, steering attribute, the green thing, the green one. There we go. Pass. Happy days, folks. As you can see, there's a verify in there. Cool. All right. So I hope you like that. Uh, in the YouTube channel, please leave a comment, click on a like, because these videos do actually take a little bit of my time to do, and um, it really helps the channel if you guys, any kind of comment or a thumbs up, yeah? Alright, so, take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.